Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be working on this uh, 07 Honda TRX 90. Uh, it does have a full pro circuit T4 exhaust. Um, it is a little bit lean right now. It's lean up top and it does require uh, a lot of choke for about three to five minutes before it'll actually run right and, and idle correctly. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking apart the carburetor. I'm going to show you guys what jets have to be swapped out. Uh, and this pretty much goes for any ATV that you're going to be doing a full exhaust on, or if you're going to modify the air box and get more air in, we have to be able to supply more fuel to the machine. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, guys. So on this TRX 90, it's a little bit of a pain to get the carb completely off, but in this situation, we really don't have to pull the carb all the way off. We're just swapping out jets. So the only thing I have to do is get the float ball off. So, um, I turn the gas off and I'm just going to unscrew this screw up here. And there's one more over here. And then once the float ball is off, then I can get access to the jets and then we can take them out and uh, see what size they are. All right, guys, so we got the uh, float ball off. So now we can access the jets. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is that when it comes to tuning a carb, whether it's swapping jets or adjusting the needle or anything like that, you want to make sure that all of your conditions are as best as they can possibly be. So make sure you're starting with a clean carb, um, you know, go through it, make sure all the ports are clean. Um, make sure that it has good gas in it, make sure it has a good spark plug because you don't want to start to try to tune the carburetor and then, you know, you're tuning it and you're adding more fuel, but then realize that your air filter is clogged or dirty. And that's the reason why it's not running right. It's not actually a jetting thing. So, um, you want to make sure, you know, all of those situations are as good as they can possibly be, um, before you start jetting. But rule of thumb, typically, you know, if you start adding any type of power adders, whether it be a full exhaust, a slip on exhaust, uh, you remove the air box lid or put a, a high flow filter or anything, you're going to have to jet it because these come very lean from the factory for emissions purposes. Um, they're already lean. So as soon as you start adding those things, you make it even more lean. And then you run into situations like what's going on with this machine now, where it takes a while for it to start. Um, it needs choke to start and run for the first few minutes. After that, it runs and idles perfect once it's warm. So um, let's go ahead and get these jets out and then I'll kind of explain to you what they do. And All right, guys, so we got the jets out. So this is the uh, tube that the main jet screws into. So the main jet controls typically anything after half throttle to full throttle. So for this machine, the stock main is an 82. And it's some, it seems like somebody was in here because this is an 85 jet, okay, which is good. So somebody bumped up the uh, main jet because they knew they were putting an exhaust on it. So they had to bump up the jetting in a sense, which is what my plan was to do, thinking that this was still stock jetting, but it's not. So this is an 85 main. So this should be fine. Um, it seemed like it was okay up top. It was really just the starting and the idling when it was cold. Now, the stock main jet or i'm sorry the stock pilot jet is supposed to be a 40 right and the pilot jet controls any anything from starting to idling to about a quarter throttle is all done by this pilot jet and also the fuel screw the fuel screw you can adjust a little bit to um get a little bit more fuel or a little less fuel on idle um but somebody put a 32 pilot in this so this is probably why we're having so much issues starting and idling um, and running real lean when it's cold is because this is supposed to have a 40 pilot from the factory and this is a 32. Why that is, I have no idea. So this is already, like I said, these are already too lean from the factory. So somebody leaned it out even more by putting a 32 pilot in it when in, in reality, it should have been like a 42 or even like a 45, because with like a 42 or a 45, you should be able to start this bike without choke and it should idle and, and run fine to a quarter throttle because it has enough fuel. So in this situation, we're just very lean. So this is a weird looking um, pilot jet. I haven't seen one with this little extra piece that sticks up. Usually it, it just looks like this and it just has like this little... Uh, flathead just engraved into this part here it doesn't have the extra piece that sticks out i should have one of these if not you know you can get one of these from like a local uh um, motorcycle shop they're pretty common so you just got to pull it out i would suggest pulling your carburetor apart 
bringing it to the uh, shop. This way you can compare it and get the right one because there's been plenty of times where, you know, I've, I've went and gotten a pilot jet and a main jet. And then, you know, similar to this situation, you pull it apart and the jets are either different or somebody's already been in there messing around. And, uh, you know, you're kind of having to uh, play like a guessing game at that point. So it's almost it's almost a better idea just to pull the carburetor, carburetor apart, pull the jets out, bring them to a motorcycle shop and then say, hey, this is what I need. And then kind of go from there. This way you're just not having to make multiple trips. So let me see if I have a uh, like a 42 pilot at least. And then uh, we'll get these put back in and see how it runs. All right, guys. So now we're in a situation um, where I do not have the right style of pilot jet. So this is a weird one. I thought that this one that I had, I have a 40 and a 42, but they're a little bit thicker um, than the original one that was in here. So I don't know if this is an OEM carb or not. I don't think it is. I think it's like a China carb. Uh, I do have the original owner's information, so I think he does have the original carb, but um, regardless, this is a Kian jet, so these you can get. It's not like it's some weird China jet or something. So these you can get. Um, I'm just gonna have to order, you know, like a 42 pilot because like I said, I don't have the right style. Uh, I don't wanna have the chance putting this in um, and then it not be right and have to pull, you know, the card back off again. It's, it's not a big job. It's pretty easy on this machine, but um, you know, I'd rather just put the right one in there. This way it's, you know, do it once, do it right, not think about it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this style ordered in a 42 and then um, we'll come back and put it all back together and see how she runs. All right, guys, so it's been a couple days. Uh, got the new jets in, got the carburetor back together. Uh, have not started the machine, it's ice cold. Um, you can see it starts up nice and easy, no choke required. Idle's good. So much better than before. Now, like I said, keep in mind, this is a Chinese carburetor that's on here right now. Uh, that's how I got it. Best bet is to stick with the OEM carb. You can run these Chinese carburetors with the jets that come in them, but you're going to have issues because there are different styles of jets sometimes. Sometimes you can't even get the jets uh, to replace them. Uh, so the best bet is really just to stick with the OEM carb. If you're going to do any type of modifications, you're going to have to jet them. Uh, you're going to have to replace the pilot with a bigger pilot. Typically, you know, like I said before, Go up about a size or two if it's a 40 you want to go to a 42 or a 45 depending on your elevation um depending on where you're at you know as far as what state you're in um same thing if you're going to do like an open air box you know then it's going to lean out even more you may have to go to an even bigger jet um but regardless so now now it's not lean anymore like it was so it's got enough fuel so i don't have to use the choke or anything it fires right up whether it's cold hot doesn't matter uh, and it's going to prolong the life of the engine, right? Because the, the, on these motors, like the cylinders are kept cool. Uh, you know, the top end is kept cool with fuel. So if you don't have enough fuel and it's too lean, you're going to run the cylinder hot. You're going to run the risk of, you know, burning a piston, you know, or needing a top end sooner because it's not being kept cool by the, by the fuel. So, um, just best case scenario, even if your machine is stock, these are very lean from the factory. It's always a good idea. You can just bump up the jets just a little bit, you know, just one size and it'll make the machine run better. It'll be more responsive. Um, and like I said, it'll preserve the life of your machine as well. So uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any, you know, comments, concerns, questions, feel free to drop a comment. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.